grey vote will be crucial in next year's war party, so you better be nice to But as we're all living longer, so we have more complex needs. Dick and Hooper has been looking at a new pressure group fighting for the rights of those pensioners living in private retirement flats. <laughs> Welcome to the village of Montacute, in the heart of the Somerset countryside. People here have life expectancy in the whole of England. Why? I've come to the post office to find out. It's just a very friendly, happy village where everybody takes care of everybody else. It's a very, very close-knit community. Uh, the elderly people are looked after by other people in the village, and it hasn't changed. But not everyone is lucky enough to live here. In Yeovil, the first regional meeting of a new pressure group called Carlex took place this week. Their members are those who own private retirement flats, which are managed by a company called Peveril. Residents are angry at the value for money and the standards of service they get and their numbers are growing. There are tens of thousands of people living in these circumstances, and we've only touched the iceberg that's on the tip of the iceberg that's actually online. 80% of them we think are probably not online and therefore don't know about the campaign. But what we're doing is we're gradually asking the people who are online to spread it around our apartments, to spread it in friends in other apartments, so they can all get involved. Obviously, numbers are a magical thing, and the power of numbers will create change Peveril weren't at the meeting, but told me they're reviewing their operations and will report back here. The trade body they belong to was there, though, and got short shrift. It seems to me that you've done an awful lot of work, but you've got very little clout. That sort of enforcement, that, again, I think, is why, to some extent, the idea of an independent regulator to the sector, who may carry more clout, may be able to, to levy fines, such as the Independent Housing Ombudsman Service. We're subject to an awful lot of talk. What we really want to see is some action. Oh, there we are, they're unveiling a tough budget. Some residents, though, have taken action themselves. Don't be fooled by this calm exterior. Norman Greed lives in Weston and he's grey power in action. His block of flats has taken control under a scheme called Right to Manage. They ousted Peveril in favour of a new managing agent, and it saved the residents about £20,000 a year. We have done in two or three months what has taken years and years to do, and that's get some recognition. All we're asking for is honesty, respect and value for the rest of our lives. That's all we're asking for. The message from Norman and from Carlex is that grey power is getting stronger as we all live longer. Like here in Montague, government ignores the grey vote at its peril. And who knows, there may even be a place for David here when he retires. Mm.